What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Netflix series Optimus Prime. So, they're not calling it Earthrise on the box. Actually, here's the box. It's a really nice box, but it doesn't say Earthrise anywhere. So, that's interesting because I guess this is the one from the original series that's on Netflix right now. Um, but we know he's probably going to look something like this when he gets to Earth. So, I don't know what the Earth mode is going to be. Anyway, here he is. He looks really good. Let's take a quick 360. You do have some different colors here. So, you've got the darker blue on the legs. You've got the darker blue on the hands and the other parts here that were a lighter blue before. Um, they've done one really great thing, which is to fix the legs. I love that they did this. I always hated the gray on the inside of the legs. In fact, you know, I sold the figure because I just, I really didn't like that. And, and now that it, now it looks consistent. You got gray all the way down the back and then you got the bl blue on the inside. That just looks really nice. Uh, they do have some other minor changes is like the, uh, the windshield here on the chest is sort of a grayish tint versus the bluish tint that you have on the original. I think blue is probably a little bit more accurate, but I don't mind this one either. Um, everything else is pretty much the same on this guy. Well, I'm sorry, his face sculpt is a little bit different. In fact, uh, let's get in closer on his face sculpt so you can see how that looks. So he's got that black outline around the eyes with the blue eyes. It does look a little different than the original, but I like it. I like the look of it. Um, this is probably more toy looking, or maybe more Japanese looking than the original Earthrise, but still, I'm a, I'm a fan. Uh, you do have the same articulation, but I'm going to go over it really quickly. So the head is on a ball joint. You get up and down, nude moon there, it rotates all the way around, and you get the side to side because it's on a ball joint. Arm rotates all the way around, goes up to there. Rotation at the bicep. Single joint elbow gets you 90 degrees. Rotation at the wrist. Single pinned for the hand gets you out to there. Rotation at the waist. A little bit hindered on his backpack, but you can take the backpack off. No ab crunch. The legs go up to there, back to there, out to the side. Rotation at the thigh. Double jointed knee gets you all the way up to there. Ankle tilt out to there, and a little bit of toe tilt there. So, same articulation. Pretty good for uh, this uh, price point. This is a $40 figure. It does come with some accessories, so we'll take a look at those. So first is his blaster here. And that does peg into his hand, just like the original. He also gets this, which is in this pterodactyl mode. You saw the pictures early in the review. Uh, but it does convert from this to an axe, which is pretty cool. So you take this, put the legs in open up the wings and he can wield this as a axe and it looks really good and it's nice and tight and I like how that looks very very nicely done uh, if you want to look at the other side you can but I think it looks better on this side personally I guess it doesn't matter you can do whatever you like uh, you can also take this and use it as a shield if you like you open up his backpack here um, this is a little bit tight, but uh, you can peg his legs into the back and then peg his arms into the back. And they just basically sit there. The little guy just sits there. And this will peg into his arm, or really anywhere, but there's this peg right here. You want to fold that out. And that can be used here as a shield or as a backpack if you want that. Or you can modify it and maybe do something weird and <laughs> do something different. It really looks like he's got a baby on his back. He's got a baby backpack. Uh, but that's cool that they did that. Now here's this figure. Let's just take a close up on this. You do have a painted face there. It's painted black. There's not much to see. Let's see if we can get any closer. So there's the details. It's just all painted black. Uh, he does have a little bit of articulation, so the arms do are in a ball joint. They go out to there, up to there, and out to the side. The head, I don't think it moves. I think it's solid. The legs do go up to there, um, although they are hindered a little bit by the backpack. They seem to be rubbing up against it. Out to the side, uh, no knee band or anything like that. 
So it's the first time I've seen anything like this in the Earthrise line. So it's interesting. I, I, they have the little battle masters, but this, you know, it doesn't really convert. Maybe it is a retool, something else. And here's this guy. So it looks like this in the axe mode. If you fold down this, Oh, well, we have to do his head first. Fold the head out, fold this down, and then you can move the wings however you want. Then he looks more like a pterodactyl, with his little feet here. Um, it doesn't really sit anywhere. I guess you could put it back here, so he sits on his uh, shoulders or whatever, but cool little guys to include. I don't really need them. I would just use this as an axe, and this one I'd probably just set aside or you know, throw it back in the box. And for comparison, here he is with the Earthrise runabout. We are going to be seeing a lot more of this guy because, I don't know, I'm keeping him in my collection, so I'm going to be using him for comparisons. But there he is. Looks really good. I think it's a good height. It's the same height as the original, but as always, uh, I think they did a good job with the scaling on this guy. Now let's take a look at the figure. Um, a transformation. Let's go ahead and take the gun out. The gun does actually transform. You can fold it up like this and that will store later. I mean you can store it on his backpack but we'll put that on a little bit later. All right. Um, I, I, I really enjoy the transformation on this guy. Even the original uh, was really good. So let's get started. So go ahead and open up this panel. Rotate the hands in. Close up the panel. Same on this side. Open the panel. Rotate it in, close that up, set it at 90 degrees. We can open up this panel here and unfurl all of this, which is clearly going to be the front of his truck cab. Fold out these panels here, fold out these panels here, which look like they've got some paint on them. That's interesting. And we're going to take all of that. Go ahead and take this backpack. Unfold that, and we can open up the backpack, tuck the head in there, close that back up. It should peg back in. If you don't get it lined up, it should peg in right there. All right, next we're going to take this and rotate this around 180 degrees, uh, fold these ab pieces inwards. And then close this down. It should peg right in right there. Stick the hands in. Since this is a, you know, third version of this, there's not no reason to spend a lot of time on him. Close up the feet. Fold the legs up. Peg the legs together. They do snap in nice and secure. And then the last step is to get all these panels tabbed in. So this one goes on the bottom, that one goes in the middle, that one goes on the top. Same on this side. Uh, looks like this panel already closed. There we go. And, and then go ahead and open up these gas cans. They tend to get pushed in on their own, so as you're manipulating them, sometimes they do get pushed in. And here you have Optimus in his vehicle mode, or I guess the Battle Master Optimus, whatever you want to call him. Here's the back. You can take this gun and peg this in here and have that like that. Whoops. Uh oh. Looks like this panel isn't staying very well. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, he does roll pretty nicely. Uh, the wheels are pretty much the same as the original. Got that same coloring. I wasn't a huge fan of the style that they used, but I think these look better than the original wheels. They just look a little, a little cleaner. Um, I don't know if these guys can interact, but obviously there's peg holes here, so you could potentially do things if you wanted to. I mean, you can do all sorts of weird things with this. And for a quick comparison, there he is with the Earthrise Run Amok. And again, good good scale, good size on this vehicle mode. I think it really, you know, they've done a great job all across the board on this line. 
But there you go. So let's get him back into his robot mode. Go ahead and take this off. And we will put these panels back in if they haven't already done it themselves. Unpeg the legs. Open the legs back up. Oh, sorry, before we do that, make sure you release these panels. Then unpeg the... Then move the legs down. I'll unpeg all these panels here. And you will see there's some red paint on this. The, the original was also painted, but this is a, looks like a slightly darker red, potentially. All right, next we're going to unpeg this from here. Go ahead and take the arms out. <clears throat> Just leave them, leave them sitting out like that. Now that you've freed that, you can rotate the entire uh, waist section around. Go ahead and fold his abs down in. And we're going to accordion all this back down. So fold this in, fold this in, fold that in, fold on his back. Go ahead and release his head from in here. You can close this down. Close up his chest and then finally peg this all in together and getting coming to the home stretch. Go ahead and open up his feet down here. On his back, you're going to flip this over and then flip these in. Pull the arms down, open up these panels, flip those out. Flip out his hand. And there you go. So final thoughts on this guy. I really dig this. I, I actually like this even more than the original and I really like the original. I, I praised it and said it's one of the best Optimus we've gotten in a long time from the main line. This is no exception, um, but they've improved on some of the coloring and the paint and the details. Now he doesn't come with a trailer, so for those that are looking for the trailer, you, you're not going to get that here. And you know the price point is only ten dollars cheaper. They're giving you these, which I would argue I don't really care about these. Just give this to me for thirty. You make this a thirty dollar figure, and just don't include um, you know these battle masters. But that's fine. You know I still I still like it. I still think it's a pretty good pretty good set. Um, if you prefer these colors, then you're definitely going to want to get this. If you like the original colors and you're not bothered by the legs, then you know the original is probably good enough. But for me, I really like the colors. I'm probably going to hold on to this as my default Earthrise Optimus comparison figure. Um, so you'll be seeing more of him in future reviews. Um, I didn't show off the Matrix, but it is basically the same um, maybe slightly different coloring, but basically the same as the original. You know, you can store this in here. There's this matrix. It's gold with the silver and a little bit of blue. Looks like the blue is a little bit more muted on this one. But that's really it. He comes with the matrix with this shield guy and with the pterodactyl axe. I like it all. I think it's a good... Um, you know, they're, they're fun accessories. It's a, it's a fun figure. I like the look of it. Highly recommend it if you can find it. Uh, this is a Walmart exclusive, so you would have to pick this up at Walmart if you didn't pre-order. I have heard some people getting their pre-orders canceled, unfortunately. Um, but you should be able to find this fairly easily. I was able to find it at Walmart for the normal retail price. So good luck hunting. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.